up my dudes welcome back to another Wasteland Wednesday video. First I want to apologize for not having a video out for a couple weeks. Sometimes uh, it takes a while to get some parts and I had the NorCal cycle swap coming up so I figured instead of ordering it I would wait to get some parts and see if I could find them and luckily I did. So today's video we are going to be trying to take an old school uh, <laughs> Russian gas mask air filter and turning it into a air filter for the Sportster. I'm trying to figure out uh, what else I want to do for the air filter because at the moment the air filter I did modify it and make this really awesome cover for it but it's still a big tuna can and, it, and my leg hits it, it's uncomfortable. I wanted to do something more. So I did a little research and found on the Harley Davidson forums, uh, I forgot the user's name, I think it was Emreed or something like that, he made a thread where he made just a plain 4 inch air filter from AutoZone and modified it just a little bit so that it would fit onto the CV carb on a Sportster. I'm hoping that I can get the air filter, I'm going to cut this end off of it and just slide it on as a cover, drill some holes in it, because it's got some like really cool like numbers and text and uh, some Russian symbols or something on there. I think it's gonna look awesome. The part that I was waiting for it was a carb mount because at the moment on a stock Sportster you have this monstrosity that holds on your air filter and the air filter cover. By some stroke of luck I was able to find a, a Kuryakin uh, carb mount with the breather, the extra like a breather attachment um, all for $15 which I was so stoked on. I'm gonna modify uh, the end of this filter to fit onto the carburetor and get that mounted up and then I'm gonna try and get this cut out to cover the air filter so let's go ahead and get started I think it's gonna be cool now that I've got this ring off and I've uh, sanded it down. The way this is gonna sit is you're gonna have your air filter there and I have the screw that's gonna hold that on and then you line it up with the plate. And this guy shows you all the photos on how to do it in his forum. All right, so here we go. I've got everything uh, attached. I might have to add one extra washer. I think I gotta go with two washers in order to get this thing to sit correctly. Cut the notches out of the rubber on this side of the filter. Here is the gas mask filter. And this was filled with so much shit, it was really hard to get some of the filter stuff out. I realized that once I put it on, while it did look really cool and it fits perfectly, by the way, I realized that there would be no airflow. The only point of airflow is right in here. It wouldn't go through the filter, so I would have to cut out these edges here. I would have to either drill tons of holes, it wouldn't filter evenly, and I don't think that would be the best course of action. Plus, this is really, really gnarly the way I cut up this metal. It just doesn't look very good. And honestly, it was hard to pull all the stuff apart out of this filter. So instead of using that, what was inside of the filter was a piece like this. There's actually two of these like grates and it holds what, I, what I'm assuming is the charcoal. Instead, I'm thinking I might just use this grate and drill a small hole and just use that as the outside plate. I'll get tons more airflow and it's still gonna be look super cool, dude. This is a piece from an old Russian gas mask. I think that's gonna be super awesome. So not quite as I planned to use this huge green filter, which does look really cool for the sake of actually having a functioning piece, having a piece from the inside, I think it's gonna look 10 times more awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill this up. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same size as this cover. So I'm just gonna kind of hammer it into place. <laughs> it smoked. I wonder if it's leaking. Is that a spark? <laughs> 